Previously on Dorking Uncovered, we're beginning to realise that Mark is quite clumsy. We love how he pronounces the opposition's name. Hoping for the same again against Dajanon. Alfie didn't feel any pressure until we made a video about his return. I wouldn't have, and then there was a video that's gone on Twitter, <laughs> which you made. Mark doesn't think Alfie should be nervous. Don't be nervous, Alfie. I wasn't nervous when I paid you for 15 months. And Dino's had a hair transplant. Dino, you there? Yeah, come here, mate, quick. Come on, Dino. I, I got mine out straight away. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the Darjanum and Redbridge match. Bad enough to play. Josh, you're free. Josh, Josh you're free. You're free. <laughs> Go home! <laughs> Fuck off. Go home! As per normal, Mark is intently controlling the patterns of play because it's <laughs> crucial that the Wanderers get that part of their game right. And early on, it's a bit cat and mouse as we see who is going to have the more effective approach. Harry, stay high! Keep it! Harrison, Keep Harrison, it! Harrison, Harrison, Harrison. Baz, take him out here! This side! Baz, Baz, he... Sorry, mate, I didn't see it. Baz, come here! Travel! Travel! Baz, Baz is out! Baz! Baz has got to exploit that, it's so easy. In order for the Wanderers to get out from the back, they're going to need to move the ball very quickly. Yeah, George. George! George! Keep it! Cookie, out you go, Cookie! Cookie! Travel! Mate, we can't start going direct, Baz. Get hold of him, Baz. Especially like that. This side, this side, Baz. Transfer! See your feet! Dorking are looking to play with confidence although they can't afford any errors while moving the ball around the back line. <laughs> it's a horrendous start for Wanderers. Harrison Mail's ball out wide falls short and is intercepted by former West Ham prodigy Freddie Sears. He crosses into the hallway of confusion where Dan Gallagher is taking his exams. Dan gets a distinction in perplexion as he bundles the ball over the line to give the Daggers an early lead. Buzz! Buzz! Heads up! Heads up! This season, Dorking have been worse at home than Chris Brown and Mark knows he needs to guard against the dropping of heads. An immediate corner gives them a chance to redeem their appalling start, although it could also go another way. Fair shot here too, we want it. Should play. Oh, fuck off. Now, we completely understand why Daggers would choose to slow the game down here. They've got their early goal, and taking the sting out of Dorking's response is entirely logical and reasonable, frankly. But quite how the referee allows them nearly 30 seconds to take a throw in is somewhat baffling, and it's not going to get any quicker anytime soon. Referee! Fucking hell, ref! The game is running slower than a four-year-old iPhone and the ref just does not seem too bothered about it. Fucking five minutes in, man! Fuck me! Fourth. Can you ask the ref? He's five minutes in, he's wasting time. 
Jaguars are going up the line like Nick Cage before an appearance on Wogan, and wasting time in front of Mark's dugouts is not conducive for a peaceful afternoon for any of us. Mate. Fucking hell, ref! Come on! Ref! Mate, he's getting treated. Tell him, tell him, tell him not to be that fucking stupid. Well, don't walk over then. Ask him not to, he's, he's cheating him. Can you tell him then, please? Five minutes in. He hasn't talked to him yet. We've already had a conversation. It's the main part. You can't leave the temporary in that manner. Jokey, why are they trying to do this wank bounce? They're fucking murdering us. Mark's Spielbergian look of awe was fully justified as a loose pass into the middle leads to Harrison having to make an excellent save. The subsequent corner brings an even smarter stop from the goalkeeper. Fourth. Fourth. Whatever they play like now has to be okay in the 89th minute if we're winning, okay? Just to be fucking clear, make sure he knows that. Wanderers need to kickstart their game with a spell of possession and ideally a goal, like a really good goal maybe. Like a Tony Yeboah goal or a Jim Melrose style goal. Which one? Don't put coming over here. Jimmy! Travel, Jim, travel. Bass, take him away. Bass, take him away. George Franken, George Franken. Not now. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, Joe. Not long. Not long. Bass, Bass, Bass. He's going too direct. Get into him. Well done, Joe. Well done, Joe. There he is. There he is. Drive. Good Keep bass, playing. Good chat, Keep playing. Joe, that's good. Jimmy. Jimmy and Bass. Easy though. Rolling back the years to the National League South days, back when Dorking would pass teams off the pitch and hammer in ludicrous goals, the Wanderers string an 18 pass move together before Jimmy Mewitt realises there's only one pair of feet capable of giving the move the ending it deserves. And the right foot of the hot dog obliges, sending the ball cannoning in off the underside of the bar for a finish more satisfying than the time that I. No, I, I'm, I can't, I can't. I feel like if we, if we go back four, they won't know what to do. Yeah, He's drop, coming, drop in there, drop in there then, okay, yeah? Yeah, yeah drop in there, yeah? That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, you go on your, when, go in there and get it on your right. Put Joe on the other side, yeah? Hey, make sure Dan and Josh come and get it though. Dan Pibus is going to drop into the Dorking defence to pick the ball up and cause some confusion for the Daggers high press. Joe! <laughs> See it! In his efforts to see the ball out, Jimmy Mewitt somehow tweaks something. We're not really sure what happened there. Oh my days. He's injured. Get warmed up. Hey, Jimmy. He just put, felt his calf. He seems to be all right. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on that one. Jimmy! Is he all right, Jakes? I don't know. Press him, Singer! Singer, press him! Singer, press him! Mate, listen to me, please. No, 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 please, please, mate. Please, I not get that, mate. They're, just so you know, they're a metre too short. Okay, no, they are. He's the same. Meanwhile, when Joe Cook gets caught dilly-dallying, it raises Mark's suspicions about the defender's fitness. Joe, okay? Is he okay? He can't be okay, mate. Who? Joe. He's too slow, he can't be okay. That's ridiculous, isn't it? What's he holding on for? So long for? I don't know what he's doing. He's just hesitant. I don't know, yeah, I'm not sure he's all right. We 
we've not seen the daggers build up and creating the same move, so as long as Wanderers don't do anything silly, they'll... Oh, for fuck's sake, nah. Young thanks the Lord, although you'd think he'd have more important things to worry about than a fifth tier game of football, as Niall will ruse the day he started playing football, and rightly so. His errant pass lands at the feet of the Dagger's danger man, Dagger man I suppose, and he converts quite easily past Harrison Mayle, who's furious. Get his head up! Get his head up! Fuck me. Fuck me. After the mistake for the goal, perhaps now will be a good time for Niall to dispel the theory that he has the worst shot in the league. Hey, come on, Baz! Eight minutes, come on! Those eight minutes aren't going to go the way he He's thinks on. they should. He ain't. He's on. Hey? He He's did on. not look fucking on there. five yards off. He looked on to me. What do you think? Yeah. He's he fucking on winding me up. Wow. He is five yards offside. Mate, there's no way. You know as well as I do, there's no way he's onside. I think the shirts are causing the problem, genuinely. I think that's why my player passed back to him. I think the linesman had the same there. Well, he's saying he was quite well onside. So what, what? Mitchell, get them orange shirts for second half. Yeah, just the orange shirts. You need them now, obviously. Fuck me. Alfie, you and... You and Kennedy are going on, okay, at half time. <laughs> Nile and Joe. Nile and Joe are coming off. Yeah. You feel alright? Yeah? I'm doing two subs now. You feel okay, yeah? Ref, how is that lad on site there? Can you what can I ask him? He is not in a million years on site. That is so bad. I'm just telling you I'm changing shirts. That must be what he saw. Yeah, sorry, okay, I don't know what else he can see. I need to know now, I'm making two changes. I need to know if anyone's got knocks. I need to know now, don't fuck me up. Okay, Joe, you're coming off, you're not having a great game. No, you're coming off, you're not having a great game. Okay, let's go. Listen, this is what we're doing. Can I tell you something, quickly? Stop playing backwards, unless it is with purpose. So, we need to play forward at every, op they've got a, a press on, right? We keep doing them off. Their management team are like that. Even Josh, when you got the ball a second ago, you literally got it, turned back into it. Jimmy had it a minute ago, got it, turned back into it, right? This is not a great game of football. And obviously it's been two mistakes, two goals. It does not matter. Going towards our fans, we've got three goals in us. We're gonna go 4-3-3 three, three, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go pretty fucking direct and we're gonna put them in a battle. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. My gut feeling. Now, when it's there to play, you'll play, right? But if not, you will fucking win your battles. Okay? Change the shirts. Is that what you, did you not see the shirt? Is that what it was? I just didn't see the soul. Yeah, the shirts are fucking. Okay. Pipers locked the game up. All right, boys, we're gonna win our battles and we're gonna fucking let our fans hear a bit of fight, okay? Boys, come, on. Come, on, come on, boys. Manage yourself. You look fit anyway, but manage yourself, yeah? yeah. Really coming off the wing. Yeah. And give them a fucking nightmare, Alf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shoot. When you turn up the headers, fucking just get in round yeah, if it's, like, listen, if it's going to be your day, it's going to be a day you get actual, do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I won't ever claim to be stylish. I basically wear 12 different hoodies with BOA written on in two different colours. I am indeed colour blind, but what I do know is that's a horrendous yeah, colour yeah. combination that we've got on offer here. But at least there'll be no more mistakes, presumably at least not from the players. The referee should probably explain why he's turned hand balls off. Oh, 
Dag! Dag! It does appear that daggers are allowed to stop attacks with their forearms. Alfie's lone spell at Bogner has helped to get his cardio back into shape, but he has a long way to go to get as sharp as he knows he needs to be. Drive, 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 drive! Take him on, Jim! In. Excellent block from Tom Eastman keeps Jimmy from getting a second goal in as many games. Dorking is supposed to be playing a man for man press, and yet Dagenham seems to be under very little pressure. Where's Harry? Man for man! Come on! Harry! Stay! Mate, we are all over the shop. Harry! Alfie! Come on, Macca. Jimmy! Jimmy! Cow! Jimmy, hi! No, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, but there's two in there, two. Who's the other one? Goal, come on. Or a couple of goals would be nice. Or assist a couple. Hiya, Jimmy! As always, we do need to be honest about the quality of this game, and with Daggers sitting back and soaking up Dorking's attacks, attacks that aren't leading to much, there's not a huge amount to share, at least until the Hot Dog gets another chance to drive a shot at goal. Forward! Elliot's just hand, please, parries away Dorking's only real efforts in the first half as the home side continue to toil without the desired result. Get the ball, George. Get the ball, George. Come on, boys. Come on! Wanderers haven't shown anywhere near enough fight here, and Dagenham must feel like they're cruising to their first ever win against Mark's side. How's that happened? Phyllis has lost his man, hasn't he? Phyllis has lost his runner. Throw down the line is all it takes to undo the Dorking defence and Miles Weston crosses to an unmarked Josh Hare in the box. Fucking shit, mate. That's, that's it. I didn't, I didn't write any more because what else is there to say? He heads it in. I think Jimmy probably should have marked him. I think Jimmy knows it. There are a couple of highlights that are kind of worth showing here. But let's be honest, that really is the end of that chapter. The return of Rutherford isn't quite going to make the difference, and perhaps not for a while, as Alfie refines his feet. Damn. Hold on, mate. Hold on. Well done, boys. Well done, mate. Cheers. Cheers, Joe. See you your place, mate. Well done, mate. Well played. Good to see you. Well done, mate. Well done. If you want to watch the post-match team talks, you can join us on YouTube memberships. We show them there. And if you support us there, that will keep the channel going. If we kept them here, only 32% of people watch those team talks. So we end up getting kicked by YouTube's algorithm. So come and get more stuff on memberships and know that you're the ones that are keeping the channel going.